One of the biggest sources of clutter in my house is all of these chargers for cell phones and readers and batteries. It seems they end up on every counter of the house and every shelf. So now I've got a place to put them all in one spot. You could charge up to six devices in this at a time and it doesn't really matter what size they are. These holes let you slide your connector through and then slide it down so it won't come out. On the back side is where all of your cords are stored and they're plugged into a six outlet power strip which runs through a hole in the side. And these slots are good for connectors that are too big to fit through these holes. And even though there's only six outlets on the power strip, it's got eight of these slots so you can arrange your devices however you want. I'm gonna start by cutting all of my 13 inch wide panels at the same time. I put a half inch straight bit into my router and I'm gonna raise it up a quarter inch. I'm using a backer board to help make the half inch rabbits in the divider and the shelf piece. Nine sixteenths inch diameter holes seem to be a good fit for most of these charging connectors. And anything that might have a larger connector will fit into the slots on the top shelf of the charging station. I'm gonna cut out these cord slots using my table saw and I'm just gonna connect them to these holes and make them a little bit larger than an eighth of an inch wide. I've got my blade raised high so that the curve of the blade doesn't cut into the back of the holes. And the top shelf gets the cord slots too, just no holes. I'm drilling a hole in the side support piece for the power strip cord. Then I can just begin to glue it up. I've cut two boards for the sides and I'm going to tape them together with some double-sided tape. Now I'm going to stick on this full-size cutting template using spray adhesive. And I'll drill a hole in just one of these boards. And I'm routing out a quarter inch groove on the back of each of these. The two holes should line up and the groove will be back here. And now I can glue the sides on. For the molding profile, I'm using a roundover bit with a shoulder and I'm just using half inch thick solid lumber. I'm covering up the edges of the plywood with this iron-on edge banding. This stuff works pretty well. I usually just trim it down with a razor blade and then sand it smooth. And I cut a piece of quarter-inch plywood for the back and I edge banded it also. Thanks for watching and don't forget there's a free set of plans in the description box. If you'd like to see last week's project, click right up here. And if you'd like to see my most recent Mere Minutes episode, click down here. And lastly, don't forget, it's January, Storage and Organization Month here at Mere Mortals. So tune in next week for another project to help you straighten out your life. <laughs> see you later.